Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use the OpenPyXL package to append, populate, and access data in a spreadsheet with LibreOffice Calc. The example shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. For the imports, we will use from OpenPyXL import workbook, import OpenPyXL, and import pandas. To create a spreadsheet workbook, we use workbook equals workbook with the round brackets. To get the currently active sheet in the workbook, we can use worksheet equals workbook dot active. To append data to our spreadsheet, we can reference the worksheet dot append and put in the data we want to append inside the round brackets. We will save the file each step along the way for the purpose of the tutorial to show the changes as we make them. To save a workbook, we can use workbook.save with the path of where we want to save the workbook and the XLSX extension. And here are the values we have appended so far inside our LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. Here we have created a date range that we will append to our spreadsheet. To append the date range, we can loop over our date range, then reference the worksheet.append and put in i from the for loop. Let's reload the spreadsheet to show the changes. And here we have appended our date range. To append data to a specific column or columns, we have an example using worksheet.append using a dictionary where the key is the column where we will append the data and the value is the value we will append to the spreadsheet. And here are the values we have appended to the columns G through K. And a quick note, append will append the data to the end. Next, let's say you want to place values in a specific range of cells. We can do this by using a for loop with enumerate. Then we use worksheet.cell and put in the row, column, and value values. For the row, we use the index plus some number for the desired row. For the column, we put in the number that represents the desired column. And for the value, we assign the values from the letters list. And here we have populated our spreadsheet with the letters A through E, starting at row 2, column 7. Also, column index from string can be used instead of a number for the column where we assign 7. Next, let's go over how we can access data already in a spreadsheet. For the first example, we use a for loop with the worksheet.iter rows. Inside the iter rows round brackets, we determine the rows and the columns we want to access using min row, max row, min column, and max column. And we want to see the values, so we assign true to values only. And here we have the values from the spreadsheet. To access all the values in a spreadsheet, we can use iter rows and just assign true to values only, leaving out the other arguments. If you would like to access just one cell, you can use worksheet.cell and put in the numbers for the row and column. To access the value, use dot value.
And here we have one last example that shows how to use a nested for loop to access values in our spreadsheet. Using the nested for loop, we can access specific rows and columns. To display the values, we use worksheet.cell and put in the row and column from our for loop with value. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.